Hello everybody. On August the 21st, we have got an amazing solar eclipse at 28 degrees and 53 minutes of Leo. Yes, correct. <laughs> Mercury is going to be retrograde at that time, so I had to just check. So, it's a really amazing eclipse. Well, the first bit of news is that it's the first eclipse since 1918, that's 99 years, that has actually uh, made landfall with the whole of the United States. But more than that, it's the first eclipse since 1776, uh, independence uh, for you Americans, um, since there was an exclusive eclipse to the United States. So not only did it make landfall all the way across from Pacific to Atlantic, um, it's only the United States that is actually being penetrated by this eclipse. Now, it doesn't mean to say that we're not all affected, because certainly whatever the US does affects the rest of the world, and of course vice versa now. We are no longer isolated. So let's look at the energies of this solar eclipse. I'm excited to share it with you. The predominant energy is fire. We've got Sun, Moon, Mars and the North Node all in Leo, as well as Saturn in Sagittarius and Uranus in Aries, making a grand fire trine. With all this Leo in the heavens, Leo is ruled by the sun. And you know how as it is, when the sun comes out and you open the window in the morning, you see sunshine, you feel good, don't you? You get a, a burst of energy. The sun has energy, it has aliveness, it has light, it has life energy. Just think of all those vitamins you get from the sun. So this is about the awakening of a light consciousness, a lighter consciousness, the breaking up of negative ego patterns. It's an opportunity for that. I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but certainly this solar eclipse being so powerful in these late fire degrees, and when something gets to a late degree of a sign, it's almost like this is the last push. This is like, all right, guys, let's do it now. It's now or never. So this is a wonderful opportunity for an awakening to the light being that you are. When the body is filled with light, it's no longer unhealthy or dead. It's alive. So this is about aliveness. So... In order to be joyful, how does it happen? Well, for me, if I only have to see a child, you know, a little child, especially babies, little ones, you know, that innocent look. I mean, you can't help but smile at a little child that's smiling and skipping along in that way. And I feel that it is important at this time for us to try to find that childlike being that is inside each one of us. Jesus said, unless you become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. So the kingdom of heaven that we see when you see angels and all those kinds of things around a child, that light, beautiful energy, is that innocence, that first innocence. That's what we are looking for at the time of this solar eclipse. It's being able to live with the knowledge that we already have, but at the same time being aware of that divine presence that each one of us has and is. And the more of us that wake up to it with this wonderful solar eclipse, the more joyful everything can become. 
And it's the little things in life, you know, it's the little things um, that make you play. What brings out the sense of play in you? I mean, I play when I'm doing these videos for you. I can't tell you how much fun I've had doing this particular one. Um, you know, I've done, I've done this, obviously, the chart, which I enjoy painting. And uh, since the painting wants to join in now, we'll let the painting join in. I've drawn a painting for this um, solar eclipse in Leo. See, you know how it is like a child is so excited. Look, look, look. Look what I've done. So there we are. Look what I did. <laughs> and I love this quote by, how you pronounce his name, I'm not sure, Fit. Fitch Nat Han, who says, sometimes your joy is a source of your smile, but sometimes your smile is a source of your joy. So sometimes just by smiling, you feel joyful. So it can go both ways. So play with this. Play. <laughs> I played so much creating all this uh, for you today that um, I nearly burned my dinner. <laughs> I thought, hmm, I'd lost all track of time. I thought, just smell something burning. You see, it's all this fire energy. Hmm. So it's wonderful to get into that zone. What gets you into the zone? For me, I love being in nature. Walking in the morning, hmm, kissing a tree. I love kissing the trees. Some people hug them, I like to kiss them. <laughs> And it's just about playing. It's about seeing the fun in nature. You know when you see a little sparrow hopping? Bip, bip, bip. It's so playful, isn't it? So there's a lot of play energy around us that maybe we're not noticing so much. And I think that this solar eclipse gives us an opportunity to begin to take ourselves less seriously and to find the play and the joy in life. It doesn't mean to say that we haven't got issues to sort out. Yes, I know you serious lot. <gasps> yes, we've got to be serious now. And you get plenty of opportunities for that because as I discuss going into 2018, and really the energy starts when Jupiter hits Scorpio in October of this year, we're coming into a different kind of phase. Particularly this year, it's been fire and air and crazy and unexpected things and all kinds of um, things coming out of left field. We're moving into an earth and water phase, which has an entirely different vibration. So we're going to need to integrate the fire and the air with the earth and the water, which is what the planets are going to be drawing us toward in these coming months. More about that in other videos. I'm getting uh, in front of myself a little bit here. Um, so, really, some of you like the channeling, some of you don't, but I don't care here because I think it's just about, uh, this is how I started the channeling a little bit, was that um, I asked for the joy spirits to come, right? So I'll ask for them now. <laughs> Yeah, you see? <laughs> mm. You can bring in joy. Yes, it's, it's, it's here in this area. <laughs> you know, your, your, your laughing tackle, <laughs> as my friend used to call it from up north. Get your laughing tackle working. <laughs> yes, all too often it's not, not doing very much, is it? Serious. <laughs> you see? So let's bring out that joy. Children love it when you play with them. So, play with yourself, play with everything around you, see what you can do to lighten yourself at the time of this very powerful solar eclipse. We've got an opportunity to burn up a lot of the negative energy that's been hanging around for donkey's years. And yes, I do sell the paintings. Many of you ask me, many of you have commissioned me to do special paintings, originals for you. Thank you, I love doing that too. So yes, I do sell these paintings. If you're interested, drop me an email. You'll find me at yourastrologysigns.com. And I've also composed a little ditty for this solar eclipse. 
in Leah, which I hope you'll enjoy. Imagine you're a child exploring with wonder. Mm. 